I feel fantastic, man. I can't wait. <laughs> can't wait to see my bride. Oh, yeah. She looks amazing. Love it. Awesome. Incredible. I can't wait. It is with great honor and most humble privilege we have been invited here to the shore of Lake Erie to celebrate the beginning of John and Cameron's union as husband and wife. Judy and I have prayed about this for the last 15 years that Cameron would find true love and she'd find somebody that complimented her. And I feel like I hit the son-in-law lottery. And John, I can give you no greater a picture to consider as a man of how to love your wife than how Jesus has loved us. Jesus came and he died and he rose again for us. As Jesus loves us, so John, love your wife. Lay down your life for her. Care for her. You get married today. <laughs> I can't wait to see you. <laughs> well, now I don't want to walk away at all. <laughs> I don't want to leave. <laughs> For a half hour? What was that? Oh, we got stuff we got to do, I think. What God can do in someone's life and the love that God can, can change someone's life radically. And, and John saw God radically change my life. And um, I can say as your older brother today and looking at the man you are today on how God has molded you. And uh, the way you can forgive people is astonishing to me. The way you love Cameron is truly inspiring. And um, I'm so proud of you, and I love you so much. Last year, the Lord leveled the playing field for me a little bit because I got a call from Cameron that went something like this. Hey, Earl, uh, do you remember John Doyle from high school? And I was like, Doyle, -yo, yeah, I remember Doyle. What's up? And she says, well, we're reconnecting. We're becoming friends again. And I was like, friends, you say? Okay. Is he single? And she's like, I think so. I was like, he ain't trying to be your friend. <laughs> Being oblivious got me my best friend, and it got Cameron her husband. So yeah, God has a funny way of rewriting the endings that we thought uh, were going to happen and making them even more beautiful. Butterflies. Do you have butterflies? Yeah. Whew, I never get butterflies. Oh, Cameroon, you're all grown up. Wow. I can't believe it's here. You look awesome. So do you. I grew up. I remember we were just a little coolie. Wow. Excited. Yeah. Me too. Beautiful bride, stunning. Heavenly Father, just thank you for this day, and I thank you for my beautiful soon-to-be bride, Lord. I ask, I just so thankful for you blessing me, blessing me with her, and bringing us into each other's lives. I ask you just bless this time and bless this day, and help us to live in it, Lord, and just be present with one another, Lord. But most importantly, present with you. No matter what we face, Lord, that we would turn to you and that we would consistently put you first in our relationship, Lord. I thank you for bringing us back together. And I thank you for all the people here today, Lord, that love us so much and that get to witness this and we get to share this together. Thank you so much for all that you have done and will do in our lives. We love you so much. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Bye. Cameron, my heart is full to know that by the end of this day, I will be able to call you my wife. 
I've always known that I wanted to be married early on in life. I never knew whether or not that was the Lord's plan for me. I am so grateful and completely awestruck to know that the woman I have prayed many nights for is here with me on this day. I am so deeply in love with you, Cameron, and I couldn't be more excited to run into this next chapter of life with you. John, today is the day. I can't believe today is the day that we've talked about for what seems forever in a day. The one that I've dreamed about since I was a little girl. Ever since I was young, I have prayed for my husband, and I obviously didn't know who he was or where he was, but I knew the Lord would lead me to him and his timing. I'm so glad and thankful the Lord has answered my prayers with you. It's crazy to think that through, throughout middle school, high school, and even into college that I prayed for you specifically. I had no idea why the Lord would lay you on my heart at random times, but I knew that he was preparing my heart for you. <laughs> I praise God I had those opportunities to pray for you and I will treasure it forever. It has been a blessing to know you for so long. I find so much comfort knowing that it was God's will to bring us back together. We always joke that we could be a Hallmark movie, but it's so true. The city girl comes back home um, during a pandemic and falls in love with the hometown guy who's had a crush on her since middle school. Daily, you are such an encouragement to me just by the way you live. I love seeing when you smile how it lights up the room. Almost nothing can bring me the joy I experience when I see you smile. Seeing your kindness, joy, and your love, even when it doesn't seem like there's a reason for it, drives and challenges me to be a better person. Since knowing you, my knowledge, love, and passion for our Lord has only deepened. I know with all my heart that we will spend the rest of our lives growing in that knowledge and love of our Lord. And it is such a gift that I get to do it every day with you. John, I couldn't be more happy that you were my person. It sounds cliche, but I've known since our third date that we were going to get married. Your love for the Lord shines so bright through you and, consistent, and you consistently point me to Christ. I love how you strive to have our relationship near Christ. Since the beginning, you have pushed me to follow where the Lord is leading me and where the Lord is leading us. Thank you for that. It is such an answer to prayer. Thank you for having such strong godly character so that I can find rest in your arms. I wouldn't be who I am without you, and I cannot wait to marry you today. I will love you for all of my days. John, forever and always, Cameron. You have married a wonderfully creative individual. She is curious just like you. In fact, when we were in our premarital session, sometimes I wonder if she was looking at the spines of my books, wondering what those books were about more than listening to what we were talking about. <laughs> That's wonderful. It's a creative spirit that you have together. And I wanna encourage that you would both remain curious together, and creative in your home. And the excitement that you see in and John, even as his camera was walking down the aisles, the same excitement that Christ shares with us when he sees us and we're united with him. And we celebrate his victory over sin and death. And so today, this wedding celebration is the perfect example and time to do this. And so I'm gonna invite our musicians to come and we'll uh, go partake in communion. God is joined together, let not man separate. John, you may kiss your bride. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. John Doyle.
Yeah, some love lottery. Yeah, come on. Some love lottery. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Did, I, did I rock out enough? There comes a time in everyone's life where they meet their one true love, their better half, their soulmate, their best friend, the one that will know them and love them the rest of their life. That moment happened for John 21 years ago, the day he met me. I love you, Cameron. I love you, John. So everyone grab a glass and let's uh, toast to this amazing and beautiful couple. Cheers. Raise your glass of champagne as we celebrate John and Cameron. As we toast you, wish you all the best in health and happiness. And God bless your marriage. We love you. Positive, they've got true love, and they deserve an extra admiration, and respect, and love. And the fact that they have a deep desire to serve God and, and have ministry in their not only their marriage but also in their personal life. And I just absolutely, it just warms my heart, and I respect it, and just love everybody to celebrate. Them.